In today's video, we will be touching on the topic of polarization. More specifically, what polarization of light is, and how some extremely specialized animals are able to use this phenomenon to benefit themselves in their day-to-day -day lives. So how do these animals use their ability to see polarized light to their benefit? The desert ant uses the skylight polarization pattern when returning to their home. During their foraging trips, they keep stopping and making a turn. Stop and turn. It appears that they use the band of polarization as a sky compass in much the same way that we would use a magnetic compass. The ant's ability of recognizing the direction from polarized skylight is mostly achieved via specialized regions of the compound eye and polarization vision. Ants were able to maintain their straight homeward courses even if they could only see a sky without the sun. The results were clear. The sun-free sky had presented the ants with sufficient compass information. Cuttlefish are a well-known aquatic organism which have the most accurate polarizing vision. Cuttlefish also have special structures on their body to control the polarization of light with polarization selective reflective tissue. Although they have high sensitivity to orientation changes in polarized light, they have a weak detectability of colors. So they spend more on detecting polarized light just to be able to camouflage with their surroundings effectively. Cuttlefish use polarized light not just to create perfect camouflage, but also to detect prey and predators and to communicate with each other about incoming threats. As well-educated students, we know that light travels in the form of waves, but let's ask ourselves, is there a way for us to separate these waves? It is possible to separate the light waves, but we need the help of a polarizer. A polarizer is able to separate these clustered light waves into one singularly oriented wave. The polarizer here is able to separate the vertically propagating waves of light from all of the other orientations in the initial beam of light. These vertical waves are all parallel to the dotted line between A and A'. prime. The light that leaves this polarizer is now known as polarized light. Even if the orientation of the polarizer is rotated from vertical to horizontal, the resulting light is still polarized light. Humans are unable to see polarized light without the help of a polarizer, but that is not the case for these specialized animals who have a polarizer built into their eyes. Who was the first human to use polarized light? Was it the Egyptians? Greeks? No, it was actually the Vikings. Thousands of years ago, Vikings started utilizing polarized light to navigate by using a tool called a Viking sunstone. By using the angular relationship between the polarized light passing through the crystal and the direction of the naturally polarized light in the atmosphere, the position of the sun can be determined even if it is completely covered by clouds. After that, humans never gave up the exploration of more accurate navigation. As mentioned earlier, there are many animals in nature that can use polarized light. For example, honeybees, desert ants, mantis shrimp, and various birds. But how do they inspire us? Look at this cute bee. The magic is hidden in his compound eyes. Different insects use different organs for navigation. One of those, known as the dorsal rim area, which is in their compound eyes, is extremely important. Many photoreceptors are kept in the dorsal rim area. These photoreceptors contain orthogonally arranged small hair-like structures, termed microvilli. They are specialized sensors for the detection of polarized skylight patterns. There have been a lot of laboratory-scale research into bio-inspired polarization light sensors. One of the most common ways is polarization navigation sensor on photo detector with linear film polarizers. This method mimics the light receptor features of insects such as bees and desert ants. This mimicking is sophisticated engineering. Researchers investigate it by using a single scattering Rayleigh model. In this case, the researcher invented a real-time position method based on polarized light and geomagnetic field. Furthermore, more research of algorithm improvement and mimicking other insects like dragonflies are being investigated to achieve higher resolution. The vision of focal-based polarimeter using a CMOS technique is also a very promising approach to polarized light sensor device design. This method combines an imaging CCD element and a micropolarization filter on the same substrate. Due to the structural complexity of the materials required, this method method often requires special nanometer to micron material processing techniques, but it has several advantages. Better random window reading capability, radiation resistance, system complexity and reliability, use of non-destructive data readout, and more optimized exposure control. More and more research has brought the unique characteristics of living things into optical devices, providing more convenience for daily human life. Scientists from UIUC have developed a new camera capable of capturing polarized information over a high dynamic range, inspired by the mantis shrimp who has nature's most powerful visual system. This is important for autonomous driving. 
which can help the camera pick up information about the polarized light as the car passes through foggy environments, thus improving the visibility of objects on the road and avoiding accidents. With the development of artificial intelligence and data science, polarized light sensors are playing an increasingly important role in our daily life. The little creatures around us that we normally ignore are making their contribution to a better life for us.